All right, guys, so I just wanted to film this video now. This is a floor plan you have seen before. I'll be honest with you up front, so you don't have to murder me in the comments below. That's fine. You can still. It doesn't bother me. But this is a home that is a home you've seen before. It's the one that has two and a half baths, and I'll get to that. But what I wanted to show you in this one, or what I wanted to talk to you about this one, is this is on our beautiful lot. We have it fully staged. It is a beautiful, beautiful home. They've done a fantastic job here. But this is an, I'm gonna say my shop said it's right, off site stick built home. Now, that is a lot of words and a lot of information. Basically, is this is a modular. It's a stick built home. It's built really, really well. It's built to the same standards and codes as anything else, but it just happens to be built not on your piece of property. So this is the biggest difference in between a stick built home and a stick built home is that one is built on site, one is built off site. We build off site stick built homes. We don't build on site stick built homes. So the standards and the quality is all there. <clears throat> this is a modular. And as you can see, you've torn the manufactured version of this and you've torn the modular version of this. Now, we're gonna finish the tour in just a minute. But I wanted to show you, on the inside, there's nothing that is different. The manufactured home still has fully sheetrocked walls. The manufactured home still has the same cabinets. The manufactured home still has um, all of the different features and the, the two and a half bath. There's nothing that's left out in the, in the manufactured home that's not in the modular or that's in the modular that's not in the manufactured, vice versa. The two biggest differences, and we'll keep walking, we'll walk into this kitchen because I love the design and the colors. I know white fridges have been not the most popular thing in the world, but they did really good with this because it matches the sink really well and everything. But as you see, you've seen this house before. What I'm trying to get point across is if you buy a modular manufactured from us, there's nothing on the inside that really changes. Um, the biggest differences that are in between a modular manufacturer are the pitch of the roof, which is how high the roof slopes and how high the roof pitch is. A modular has more of a traditional pitch, so it has more of a, you know, pitch to it on the, on the roof side. Sorry, I get tongue tied, but it has a higher pitch roof. Um, my manufacturer home has a lower pitch roof and you pay for that. You pay a little bit more in the module to have that higher pitch. Now, um, with all that being said, the only other thing that is the difference is the fact of how it's set up. With a modular, most of the time we order what they call off-frame modulars. So that means all the metal underneath the home will be pulled out. All the wheels, frames, and axles are actually called carriers. Um, so the carriers that are just carrying your home to your property from the off-site stick-built factory are going to be gone and pulled, pulled away. So then it gets set on a full foundation. We build bricks just like a regular stick-built home, and then we take your off-site stick-built home and put it on its foundation. That is the biggest difference between modular and manufactured home. Now there's still some little nuances that are different, but I won't get into those details. But with all that being said, as you can see, this beautiful kitchen, these beautiful decorations and stuff like that, you can really make this feel like home. You can have a ton of people. I think the fire marshal will allow you to have like 65 people in here, I swear. But massive, massive kitchen as you saw, we have a um, sliding glass door going out to what could potentially be a deck and or patio. Now, that sliding glass door can also be turned into an atrium door if you would like. So there's different options and different things that you can change and you can customize to make it your own. Um, I'll show you, I know it's a little bit of a different tour, more, more so than me talking, but just walking through this beautiful home, let's show you, actually, let's show you this laundry room because I've seen, you've seen it before, but I wanted to show you that how beautiful it is. So actually, as we come in, we do have what they call an EcoB. Um, that is a new thermostat. You can kind of control it from your phone. Well, not kind of, but you can control it from your phone. So if you leave in a hurry, you can turn down the AC, turn it up, whatever you might be. It really helps you on your energy savings. 
So coming on in, you see the crown molding, you see fully sheetrock walls. It is a beautiful home. But this is one of the largest laundry rooms that we have on, first, on, on inventory, I guess you could call it. Uh, you will have your washer and dryer here. And just like I said in my tips video that you all liked, there's a whole home shut off valve, which is really, really nice and convenient. Um, we do have a really deep sink. It's probably like two foot deep for when you have dirty work boots or, or whatever, you can come in and wash those off. You also have a half bath here. So if you have little kids coming in and out, running in and out, they don't have to track up your whole home. They can come use the bathroom and then go right back outside to play. So not that many kids go outside and play anymore, but <laughs> if you live out on a farm, maybe they do. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of walk through and talk to you a little bit differently as we were showing this house. So if we come on this way, we'll show you the master. And like I said before, uh, and I'm trying to walk backwards, so we will get a microphone, guys. I promise. I've heard the comments. We see them. We're going we're gonna to get a microphone. Um, and apologize if it is a little different today. Our gimbal is uh, not here, which is what holds us so unsteady. <laughs> um, but I forgot it, so it's my fault. But it's okay. We'll get there. Uh, so coming on in, this is kind of what I like to call the master wing of the home. It is a massive house. They just got done decorating, so we have a few leftover things in here. But we have two massive windows coming in. We have a beautiful ceiling fan. And we have a really different layout for the bathroom that I haven't seen. So a lot of people have commented that why is there such a huge shower and no tub? Well, most of the time when we put in those big showers, there's not enough room by code to put in a huge tub as well. So what we did in this one, just to show you, is that we can put in a regular shower just with some doors. And if you don't like big showers, that's fine. If you prefer to have a big tub, that's fine. So we do have that option in a lot of our homes. We just know that a lot of people do like the big showers and that's what a lot of people were requesting. And now it's kind of flip-flopped on us. And it just depends. It goes with the times we try to, we try to add different features and stuff like that when we hear comments below. So this is a huge, huge garden tub right over a window. So all the people commenting, it can be done. Remember, these are built off site. They're ordered specifically to you. So just because we show you a home that doesn't have what you want in it, it doesn't mean that you can't get it either. It means that we would order you one, but you can order it exactly how you would like it. We do have a separated uh, latrine area, and I guess you can call it a latrine area. I'm trying to sound fancier than I am, uh, but a toilet. <laughs> and then we do have a, a walk-in closet as well. So there still is a lot of space in here uh, and a lot of room to sit like a little stool or something in the middle to get ready in the mornings. Uh, but I'll take you to the other end of the home and we'll show you the other bedrooms. So as you're coming around the corner, like I said before, you do have a lot of space in here. Now, I know people have made fun of me for saying this before, but what I would do in this situation, just because I like to have nice family dinners, I would put a huge table here. In my opinion, it would be a farm style table, but a huge table here looking out over your deck and patio. And I would take this rolled linoleum floor and I would carry it all the way to the edge there because it would just make a beautiful home, especially going all the way across. And you could do that throughout the whole home. It is an upgrade feature, but that's another feature that you could do. If you don't want carpet, we can get rid of it. It's not a problem. Um, but coming back through this way, I'll walk around here. We'll show you the other bedrooms and how the closet sizes are really good in these homes. And uh, we do have, a, like I said before, we do have a few bedrooms in this house. So if we're coming over here, I do have one of the bedrooms and it has a ceiling fan in it as well. So this is another feature that we can do. I think it has power to it. Yeah. So another feature that we can do is we can put ceiling fans in pretty much any room. I don't know if anybody knows that, but now you do. 
So this is to me, and we'll show you the closet. Um, to me, this is an option where we can show you and say, you know, here we could do one or the other. Uh, we can show the closet. Uh, it does have a good size closet in it for one of the smallest bedrooms. And we do have another bathroom here. And it has a dual vanity sink. Now, a lot of secondary bathrooms do not have that, but we did add that feature in here as well. So there's a lot of features and stuff that people don't necessarily see in our videos, but there is stuff that we can add and or take away in pretty much any of our homes. So this is the other bigger bedroom. And as you can see, if you come in, you have these two beautiful windows. I'm probably being shined out by it. You probably can't see me, but uh, you do have these two beautiful windows looking out on your property. And we do have a really good size closet in this one. So it's a walk-in closet. Not that every kid would need one, but you know, it doesn't hurt um, <laughs> to have one. And I think that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I usually don't end the video in a bedroom, but we're going to end it in a bedroom. Uh, so this home is on our Mulevill lot. Please come and see it. This is more of an informative video than a house tour, but you got the tour house at the same time. So with all that being said, I hope that some of this answers your questions. I know have noticed a lot of the comments below have asked some of the questions I addressed today. If you have any more questions, please comment them down below. I will try to respond to as many as I can. Now, we want you to subscribe to our videos because we do post a lot of house tours and a lot of fun videos. We have a lot more in store, so we're trying to work creatively all the time. Subscribe to our channel. Please click that little bell and um, you will get a notification every time we post. And also we do have other social medias that will be linked below. So follow us on all of those and we look forward to seeing you next time.